Ledger lines are those tiny little lines that extend above or below the staffs, helping us notate notes that fall outside the usual range of the treble and bass clefs. They might look intimidating at first, but fear not, by the end of this tutorial, you'll be a musical whiz. Hi and welcome to Music Theory in Minutes with me, your host and creator, Chris, for another bite-sized tutorial. Ledger lines are like musical elevators. They take notes to higher or lower floors on the musical staff. When notes go beyond the lines and spaces of the staff, these ledger lines come to the rescue. They're like the unsung heroes of sheet music. To master where any note sits, remember that each line or space represents a note on the musical alphabet. C, E, G, B, D, F, A. Using this knowledge, you can quickly figure out any note on the treble clef ledger lines. For the bass clef, it's essentially the same as the treble clef, but in reverse. The notes on the lines of the bass clef staff are E, G, B, D, F, A, and C. Practice makes perfect, so spend some time reading and writing notes on the bass clef ledger lines. When both the treble and bass clefs appear together, it's called the grand staff. The middle C note is shared by both clefs, serving as a musical and shake. So now you're one step further in your musical journey. Let's take a listen to all the notes in both the bass clef and treble clef. Taking a break from my narration, I listen to the music we all love. Remembering the notes on the extended ledger lines can be tricky, but mnemonics or easy to learn phrases definitely can help. Here's a couple I made earlier. For the treble clef notes in between the ledger lines, you can use phrases like good bears dance freely or great big dogs feast. Now here's a bonus tip, you're welcome. The same notes G, B, D and F also sit on the lines of each staff. It's always good to recognise patterns in music because these happen all the time. This is a little bit easier to remember as the ledger line notes spell out the words ACE, A, C, E. For those who love their phrases or mnemonics or a challenge you can use all cows eat. The same sequence of notes sits in between the staff lines of both clefs. That's right, now it's all starting to make sense, I'm sure. It's time to test your newfound ledger line prowess with some musical brain teasers. I've taken the time to put together a series of on-screen questions, only three for now. Let's see if you're knowledge stacks up and if you're craving for more you can then download that sheet for free the link is in the description Thank you. 
For the complete beginner, there is a level one introduction to ledger lines. All you need to do is simply click on this video on screen to find out more. Let me know in the comments what other musical topics you would like me to cover. Until next time, ta for now.